Hello there, it's David Riley. Thank you for watching my second screencast. This screencast is all about Windows 8.1. Windows 8 has been a very controversial operating system for Microsoft. Many people do not like this new Metro interface that you're looking at right now. To do this, tuto this tutorial, you have to have Windows 8, 8.1. If you do not have Windows 8.1, please download it from the store, the Microsoft Store. It will be the most easiest way to download it. This, I'm using the cursor over to the Microsoft Store to give you a hint to where it would be. But I assume you already have Windows 8.1. So let's get on with it. I am going to use my mouse. I'm, a, I'm going to hover over, move my mouse, move my mouse over to the desktop tile. These are, just a little description, these are what Microsoft calls tiles. The whole interface is tiles, but w the one that we want is what normal uh, users log, log on to Windows and see the Metro interface, they want to go to this. I'm going to click on it. Desktop. And this is a classic um, desktop that everyone knows and is, is become comfortable with. So, that is, I've set all my settings to default because I want to show you how it's done. This is not how I have the operating system. Before I go into any more details, I want to um, point out that many people don't have all their apps or their uh, taskbar filled at the bottom the way I have. Many people use the icons that I have over here, like they would have loads of shortcuts there that would um, the shortcuts there would be the click links and I've got them down the taskbar. The reason why I'm, I'm bringing that up is because the taskbar down here is where the work, how you, it's a little awkward the fact is this is the way it needs to be done but don't worry. You should have plenty of space down here to just click with it. I'm just, might I would do. So what I'm going to do, follow what I'm doing, I'm going to move down here. What you need to do is right click it and wait till you see properties. Click that. So this is where it is. It's a taskbar navigation properties. Now you've got four tabs. The only one that really matters is the second one, navigation. Now we're in navigation, you know, till you click on it, and the only part is it clearly show start screen. Now there's only one thing that you really need to do. I'm going to show you some things I do as well, but the only one you really need to do is this one. The reason why I say this one, this is the major one where everything you sign out of all your applications and it immediately goes to the start screen. The reason also I'm putting this video up online is because Microsoft and April are going to announce that this will eventually be default. So you'll not have to do this uh, when they update micro, um, Windows again, which could be the end of the year, it's we don't know. But this, you click on that, sorry, I'm a bit all over the place. You, you click apply, okay, and that should do it. So every time you should automatically, when you close applications and all that stuff, you should automatically go to the desktop and it sort of prioritizes the desktop a little better for everyone. Now, some of the things I use is I, I, this is just optional, this stuff. That was the most important stuff. This is optional. This at the bottom, this one here. I put list desktop apps first in the apps view when it's sorted by category. The reason why I do that, I'll show you actually first, because when you go to, you've got to press the down arrow key to get your apps. The, it prioritizes the Metro apps where I never use and most people don't use. So we go back. Uh, so this properties navigation. So when you click that, let's apply and OK. Well, okay. you go back to the Metro interface, you press down. It's now prioritized the classic um, applications: your um, Adobe, your Word, your um, web browsers, uh, everything. Basically, the stuff I use every day: my Adobe stuff for web design. Uh, Photoshop video, you, you, you get the picture, and it prioritizes that. So, and what it does with the thing, the metro thing, oh, sorry, sorry about this, delay, 
it puts it right at the bottom where pretty much everyone likes it out of the way. Now that's optional. One of the things I also do, I'll try and speed up, is to show uh, my desktop background on start. Because if you look at the desktop back, the background, if you go to Metro, it's, there's no, no connection. You see the desktop icon there, I'm hovering over the mouse. But this background's just abstract, it doesn't connect. I, so when you, um, when you do this, I go into this, I put navigation, um, uh, show start, oh, sorry, wrong one. This one, show my desktop background and start. You click that, press a, apply, and there you go. It's in the background. It feels a little more connected. That's just my choice. This is um, trivial, maybe. There's one more, which I do not have on, but it is quite useful for some people. Is this one. Show the apps when you automatically go to start. So you click this, click the WeCheck box, press apply. Instead of that, instead of the Metro interface, you get the apps, your entire apps. So it starts with Adobe, Firefox, Go, um, Chrome, and all your sort of uh, software you use. You may find that more useful, and but then you've got to go back to the desktop. But it's sort of that also, um, but you can do the same with the Windows key and your keyboard, or you just press it and you've got the apps. That is quite good. I quite like that. I've not got it on the default, but it is of some use to someone. Some person may prefer that, but it's just an option that I should think, uh, I thought of showing you it right. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is the settings I have as default. Uh, this shouldn't be difficult for you once you, you may have to watch this once or twice, depends on your um, uh, skills level. But don't worry about the taskbar down here, the taskbar with the, next to the windows. And it starts in logo. Is that usually people only have like a, the first couple of ones here, but I filled it out. I've, so you shouldn't have too much difficulty. It's just it's a mode that's hidden that in the future versions won't be a problem. There will still always be bits and bobs as we assume, but Microsoft are slowly starting to wake up and realizing that uh, they made a mistake and that Windows 8 uh, is a bit of a mess for them, even though Windows 8 has some good features and the, it's messed up. It's equivalent of like the... But anyway, um, before I go though, it is worth to mention what people, the common, uh, the, the tutorial is finished at the moment, but this is the um, opinion piece at the moment. It, the, the, the fact is that by the next Microsoft operating system, which is scheduled to come out in 2015, that allegedly, before recently, that this was supposed to be it, the Metro interface, and the desktop feature would not be a part of it. So there was this... Windows 8 was supposed to be a halfway house of phasing out the desktop. Microsoft have turned back and they're running scared and they're going back to the desktop, which they should have done from day one. It was a rather silly strategy by Microsoft. We buy PCs not because they're fun, but because we need to do work. And I'm glad that some common sense is starting to come through to that company. Um, so thank you very much uh, for your time. I hope this helps someone. I hope it really does. Uh, I will always update this. Thank you for your continued support of these screencasts. This is on my second one. I do apologize for... I don't know how bad the sound is. I rather embarrassingly, I got this microphone from uh, a pound in a pound shop. So I don't know how bad it sounds. So just worth to point that out. Well, thank you for your time. Um, I'm sure you're very busy. I know I am. I've got a lot of work to do. So thank you for your time and take care.